The quest for Paris is on in full swing. The Indian men's team have booked their spot by winning gold at the Asian Games. The women are on the hunt. Not just India, but many others, vying for a place to fight for glory at the highest platform. The Hockey Olympic qualifiers is knocking on our doors. This will be the first major event this year. There are two venues that decided. The Spanish city of Valencia will host one of the two women's Olympic qualifying tournaments, while the other one will be held in India's Ranchi. So which teams are most likely to make it through to Paris and whose dreams could crash? Everything lined up for you over the next few minutes. As the Olympic year kicks in, all eyes are on the qualifiers, the last mad dash to make it to the mega sporting event. The stage is set for the women hockey players. Two qualifiers, one in Valencia and the other in the Indian state of Jharkhand at the Marangumke Jaipal Singh Stadium in Ranchi. This one features eight teams divided into two groups. Group A comprises Germany, Japan, Chile and the Czech Republic, while India in Group B is paired with the US, New Zealand and Italy. The top two teams from each group then progress to the semis. The finalists automatically qualify for the Olympics 2024, while the losing semi-finalists battle it out for the final spot. It's the same format over at Valencia. Group A has Belgium, Korea, Ireland and Ukraine and Group B has Great Britain, Spain, Canada and Malaysia. And the qualification rules remain the same. Let's have a closer look at the one close to home. Here in India, the qualifiers in Ranchi will start off on the 13th of January. The Indian women will face the US first. After the heartbreaking bronze at the Asiad, the Indian Eves turned the tide at the Asian Champions Trophy. They ran riot on the field and showed that dwelling in losses is not part of their ethos. Coach Yannick Shopman since then has been quick in making the tweaks and the final touches to prep the girls. The familiarity of the venue will also come into play. I think so, I think so. I think uh, when we first came here, uh, the girls felt a lot of pressure with uh, playing in front of a home crowd. But I do think that it's one of the privileges as a, as a national hockey player or sports player that you can play in your own country in front of your home crowd. And we have to embrace it, we have to enjoy it. I think the Asian Champions Trophy learned that they can an immense power behind us uh, when they uh, cheer for us when they support us so i do think that uh, yeah the crowd can be a, a game changer shopman took charge as india's head coach in january 2020 and has led india to a landmark fourth place in the commonwealth games for the first time in 16 years so the pressure to qualify is immense something the captain of the squad savita punya acknowledges definitely qualifying ground jo hai hamare liye bahut hi important hai aur pure desh ke liye humne pichli do baar qualify kiya hai aur is baar bhi hamara utna hi rahega ki hum is baar bhi qualify kare aur apne desh ka naam roshan kare और ओपोनेंट का देखा जाए तो सारे ओपोनेंट हमारे लिए इक्वल है और बहुत ही अच्छे ओपोनेंट्स हैं हम उनको बहुत सीरियसली ले रहे हैं ये जो हमारा स्ट्रैटेजी पीछे रही है उसी सेम स्ट्रैटेजी स्ट्रैटेजी से हम खेलते हैं और हाँ डेफिनेटली जहाँ हमारी वीकनेसेस हैं हमारे कोचेस उस चीज़ पे वर्क करते हैं तो हमें ग्राउंड में बताते हैं हम उसको फॉलो करते हैं जब हमारे कई सेट प्ले चेंज हुए हैं जो कि हम अभी आने वाले टूर्नामेंट में दिखाएंगे in the absence of the former vice captain Vandana Kataria, who has been ruled out of the qualifiers due to an injury, a lot will depend on Savita and young stars like Sangeeta Kumari and Salima Tete. In this high stakes tournament, even the smallest error could turn out to be a fatal one, not just for India, but any team. Germany, who won silver at the Tokyo Games in 2021, are the top ranked side in the tournament. They could be the one to derail India's Olympic dreams. But the very first challenge for India is the USA. And Shopman is not underestimating any of the opponents they'll face. Look, I think every team can pose a threat here. Look, everyone plays all or nothing. It's like, uh, you know you have one chance and this is it and you have to be ready. So every team will fight for that chance. So it doesn't really matter. I think every team will come with that mindset to say, look, uh, we just need one surprise. We just need one upset and we're, we're there. Uh, so I'm not so busy with the other teams, I'm really busy with ourselves. Uh, we need to perform, we need to play and then let's see what happens because I can't predict outcomes but I do uh, really hope that, that we can perform ourselves and when we perform ourselves we're a good team and we're tough to beat. 
Team USA, which ranks 15th in the world, also enters the qualifiers, are also armed with strategic tactics, studying playing styles of their opponents. Well, our preparation for any game is kind of the same. Obviously, we look at tactics and maybe change things um, for each team. But I think going into the tournament, we're really focused on taking everything one game at a time, one step at a time, um, and three seconds at a time. So, yeah. And it's strange that this is the first matchup. Two years ago, India beat the US to qualify for the Tokyo Games. Interestingly, it was Shopman who was coaching the US team. Now she finds herself at the helm of coaching the Indian side. In this twisted fate of events, the question arises. Can she turn the tables and achieve with India what eluded her with the US two years ago?